Hi there, this is Brenda from Mainly Hybrid Homesteading. Today we're working on recipe number six in our Christmas uh, cookie series. Today we're making toffee. Toffee is my favorite, <laughs> favorite candy. Uh, Heath bar, uh, chocolate, chocolate bars were my favorite when I was growing up. And I used to make, I uh, had another recipe for toffee that uh, required like saltines as a base. And I'm gluten-free now, so I finally found a recipe that is gluten-free, and that's what we're going to be making today. And it is delicious. Um, and the reason it is delicious is we've got four sticks of butter here. Yes, four sticks. <laughs> and two cups of sugar. And as you see, I already have my uh, thermometer in there. This one is made by uh, Good Cook. I'll try to leave a link down below uh, through Amazon uh, to see if they carry it. I used to use a smaller thermometer. It was a handheld one and uh, pretty much I lost it in the toffee when I was making it <laughs> one year because it, it really was, this really gets hot, especially when it gets boiling. And um, I think I just, you know, it's just a reflex because it was hot. Um, so we are going to melt this down and we were, are going to get it boiling but just for the melting I just have it on low and then we're going to bring it up to um, medium and I, I had made it says to use a medium or a large pot and I made myself a note to use a medium sized pot um, only because my thermometer will actually reach the liquid when um, it's all melted down. It's much, if you have a better thermometer or, you know, some have the, like the probes and, and that kind of thing. But this one works fine for me and we're going to need to get this up to temperature once it's boiling up to um, 285 to 300 degrees so it will form the candy part of the toffee and then we're going to be uh, putting the chocolate on top. So I'll bring you back once we're boiling and we'll see what it looks like then. So moving right along here guys, you can see the thermometer is about 275 right now and there we go and we goal is to get it up to between 285 and 300. And this thermometer does have a metal clip in the back, uh, which is awesome. I don't have to touch it or worry about it falling down. And I have my um, a baking um, cookie sheet here covered in parchment paper ready to, ready to go. And we're just stirring constantly here. You can see the mixture is... Uh, getting a little darker which is what we want very very hot guys you got to be careful with this stuff it's getting nice and thick Okay, so we have reached the temperature that we wanted. It's almost 300 now, so that is definitely ready. I forgot to mention that I did add a um, quarter teaspoon of salt to the sugar mixture before we all started here. So I'm going to put you down for a second while I handle this hot toffee. Turn off our heat. Okay, so there it is. We're going to let this cool off and i um, going to put our uh, chocolate chips on top here and those will melt and then we'll be spreading out the chocolate. Okay, so I put two cups of chocolate chips 
I used a dark chocolate today. You can certainly use milk chocolate or semi-sweet chocolate chips if you prefer. And we're, I'm just going to let the uh, toffee set and in the meantime the chocolate chips are going to melt and then I'll, I'm going to come along in a few minutes and just um, spread it all evenly on the top. Okay guys, I have started spreading the chocolate. Another note, I forgot to put my vanilla right after I took it off the heat. Uh, so one teaspoon of vanilla and uh, you just mix it into the toffee after you've got it up to temperature. But I think it's still going to taste delicious. How can it not with all that butter and sugar, right? <laughs> So we are just spreading the chocolate here evenly over the top. And if you wanted to, um, I'm just going to leave it plain because I do have some uh, people on my cookie list that can't have any nuts. And um, But if you wanted to put some nuts, you certainly could put some um, chopped nuts on top and now would be the time to do it while the chocolate is melted and I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for an hour or two and then everything should be nice and firm and I'll be able to break it up into pieces and I'm going to store this in the refrigerator until I'm ready to put my cookie baskets together and um, of course I'll have to sample a piece. Okay, so we're back with the toffee. I did make another batch. Um, this time I put some peanuts on there. Um, and I did, uh, once I the chocolate was melted on top, I did uh, put the nuts and then I pressed it um, gently with um, a clean spatula. So it'll stick on there. So this batch, as you can see, the toffee looks different. Um, they're both going to be really good. This one is did come out good. Um, it's nice and hard and delicious. This one's going to be uh, definitely more candy-like. It spent about the same amount of time, maybe a, just a little bit longer. And I did add the vanilla, but it was already darker than the other one before I added the vanilla. So either one is fine. They're both delicious and uh, we've already had some samples <laughs> and we'll be storing this in the fridge for um, our cookie trays if they last that long. Right Tim? Right. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, share this recipe with someone if you think they'll enjoy it and give us a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.